rock and tats. All right. Well, I guess we are back on WALH. Yes, we are. And, and even though we're sitting in the same seats, we've changed the shows. We have changed shows. We're from the Sports Planet to Keep Calm and Chaz On. And Keep Calm and Chaz On is back. We've been uh, in hiatus since October because we had uh, a little heart surgery going on. Plus, there's just not much make car shows going on. But that's why we're back because this Saturday and Sunday, we have the Chaz's Valentine's Day show. And Bill Ray Beck, Rick Phillips is here. And we're going to just discuss a little bit for about a half hour and maybe try to entice you to come out to the show. Uh, it's going to be really neat. And uh, I tell you, a nice thing about it, it's family and consumer friendly. We only charge $5 to get in Such Saturday. And if you keep your ticket, that's good for Sunday. There you go. Kids, you can't, can't beat that. No, and kids 12 and under are free. And we have entertainment coming. We've got uh, on uh, Saturday night, we got 30 out 6 which is a local country rock band. Okay. Plus, I might even get set in and play a little drums that night. Uh-oh. Charlie so watch is out. a drummer, too. Watch out. Charlie is a drummer. I didn't then know that. Sunday at 1230, coming back from the dead. Elvis. 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 Presley. He's been scheduled to come back for a while. He's finally decided to do it. Huh? Well, he El- moves around. He, he moves around. Elvis Wherever he can find the house. peanut butter and bananas. Is it Jerry Glanville kept on leaving tickets for him, but he <laughs> just kept on leaving them at will call. <laughs> well, he's been out with Jimmy Hoffa. <laughs> yeah, he's been with <laughs> yep. Jimmy Hoffa. And you've seen these pictures Beating of him recently, you know, with the gray burns. Yeah. Yeah. But he will be out there singing. This uh, Sunday at 12.30. So, any fans of Elvis, come on out. Like I said, it's only $5 getting the car show. We have, right now, about 75 cars registered and 18 vendors. Very nice. And uh, also, Saturday night, another thing for your entertainment And I'm going to miss it, Charlie, because I've got, uh, got uh, some broadcast to do. I know. Well, sure. Sunday you could come out. I come will out come out. See Elvis. And by the way, WALH is going to broadcast live from the car show Saturday, I think around 1 o'clock. Now, is it, who's, is it, who's doing the show? Is the legend? I think doing? Lee. The legend yeah. Lee Hindi. Yeah. In legend studio Lee right Hindi. now, making us sound good. We'll, we'll be out there. Lee is in the studios there, WALH. That's and right. uh, he's controlling the boards. Burning the midnight oil, so to speak. Making sure that we're coming in clear through all of Clinton County. That's right. And it's, uh, I tell you what, we've got move in. Some cars are going to move in tomorrow night, but no spectators tomorrow night. Uh, we'll be out there 6 to 10. So if you're a car guy and you happen to be hearing us tonight, we are going to move in 6 to 10 and, and 8 to noon on Saturday. Uh, the vendors can move in then. Also, the band's going to come get their stuff out there. I'll have my hearse out there with uh, the DJ stuff ready to roll. And we'll, I tell you, we're looking for a great crowd. The weather's supposed to be warm. I think it's supposed to rain, but we're going to be inside, so it can do whatever it wants outside. Charlie, all this is for a great purpose, too. Tell That's us. right. This is uh, for the Cincinnati Alzheimer's Association. Very good. See, I about forgot. That's why Rick's over there to keep us straight. You didn't see the cue card? This <laughs> car show has a... Uh, <laughs> Where's the teleprompter? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's Obama. No, wait a minute. We're going to new political here. Yeah, uh, yeah let's, let's keep him out of the conversation. Uh, <laughs> the, car, the car show has donated uh, $5,000 over the years to uh, the Alzheimer's Association. We're hoping, you know, to maybe add another 1000 to it this year. Good. Uh, the, we've had, last year was our biggest year. We had 90 cars and 12, uh, 12 vendors. So this year you may say, well, you're down a few cars, but we're up. Vendors. 18 vendors nice and nice. that's going to be it's going to be a crowded house so well you know what and football season ended obviously this past sunday right so everybody's looking for something there's there's yet some time on your hand come out to the robert center and come watch it well and charlie's show happening when it does around valentine's day you know is sort of the harbinger of uh, spring so we know that sure. once, once his show starts rolling around and the car season's starting to kind of like groundhog's day that's right that's right charlie doesn't see his shadow then the car show start uh, well he's got a shadow <laughs> I, I, I usually can see my shadow pretty well yeah whether whether i want to or no, not, whether you want yeah, to or not exactly right? exactly so but i tell you we got some special guests coming uh we've got anybody that's into art or comic con that kind of stuff 
We have Billy Martinez coming from Nashville, Tennessee. Fabulous artist. He sets up all over the country. Okay. And he will be in the house. He was here last year. Just neat, neat stuff. So come out and check out Billy Martinez Saturday and Sunday. He'll be at the, the Chaz's Valentine's Day car show. Plus, we have Candy Blaze coming. Now, that's that's who she has a fantastic car she's going to be bringing. Candy Blaze. She's bringing two now. She's oh, bringing really? a truck also. Candy Blaze. Candy Blaze is, and she's kind of up in your, your neck of the woods there, Ashland, Ohio. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. Yeah, she is yep. a, uh, she's a pinup girl, but she has her own garage. She does body work, works restoration. on cars, restoration. Yeah. We've actually done a couple shows with Candy on Keep Calm and Chaz on. Right. You and can uh, find them on the TalkTV.us yep. website. Exactly. And uh, she'll be there, and they're going to be uh, debuting their 1972. Uh, actually, it's going to be K A N D I. K A N D I, 1972 frame. You know, I had to look it up right. Bill's away. going in the stock frame, frame <laughs> off registry, <laughs> frame off restoration. Well, I wanted to see and, if uh, Candy was really a blaze or not. Taz, so we'll uh, uh, Taz Henschen, uh, Joey Taz Henschen from uh, Cincinnati, who's a great pinstriper. He pinstriped Nova, and she'll, uh, she, him and her will be up there set up together. He's going to have some stuff for sale. Uh, He's going to be pinstriping all weekend, so if you want a car pinstripe, come on out to the, the car show this weekend. Uh, we also have, which is always fun, we have uh, guys from the the uh, the Haunted Junkyard will be out there. The Haunted Junkyard? The Haunted Junkyard will be out there. That'd be fun. And those guys will be, some of them will be dressed up in makeup, going around Saturday night, uh, messing with the kids. It's another and, one of our shows, Charlie. Yeah, another one of our shows, exactly. And the, 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 these guys are a lot of fun. Last year we had one of them out there on stilts, like, like he was a photographer. Hopefully he'll come back again this year. Uh, it's it's just, it's a, just a, almost a festival atmosphere because nice. we got music we got and it's all for a good cause we got great looking ladies there we've got uh, at robert center handles all the food and drinks and yes there's uh soft and hard drinks available so uh you know if you want even like apple cider like apple cider that right. might be spiked oh, oh oh okay i didn't say that did i say that <laughs> but anyhow uh yeah and they got great food you can go to max and irma's if you want down the you know down the hall and come back like I said just keep your ticket you can get in in and out for five bucks all weekend. Very nice. Uh, some of the other vendors that are coming. We have Jack's Wax coming, uh, John Porterfield who sells sunglasses. Uh, these you know the, the smaller cars. I'm trying to think what they call is what they call not matchbox? not not matchbox ones that are bigger than that. Like. Um I can't think of what they're called, but like the Mini Coopers. Yeah, well, you know those <laughs> yeah, metal kind of, cars that yeah. are you know, halfway decent size. Right, right. Diecast, diecast, diecast cars. Okay. Uh, we've got another lady bringing antiques in. Oh, we've got. Here's. Did you hook Candy Blaze up as a friend? I, well, I just looked at her. I did not hook her up. So <laughs> when I'll go back, well, you can go back and like her page. Yeah, I will do that. But you need to also, uh, uh, Melinda. You gotta go to my go to go to uh, pinup happiness. A lot of the pinups from pinup happiness on pin up uh, happiness. right. And pin Charlie explains these pinups yep. so that we don't get people yeah, right. off the rails here thinking <laughs> that you're uh, pinup. All the pinup girls are they're dressed in the '50s, '60s style. Right. That's all. I mean, soda fountain. They're very, girls. very, very attractive. A lot of them, and but it, with the pinup contest, we have a Ms. Chaz is and a little Ms. Chaz is, and uh, the you know, the winners are going to get some Walmart gift cards. They get sashes. They get a trophy, and it's just a good time. It's just a good time for uh, for uh, everybody that's involved in it, and uh, it's it's not. We we tell them purposely not to dress too. Provocative, provocative. Right. yeah. It's it's a family show, and that'll happen at eight o'clock Saturday night when uh, thirty out six takes her first break. So, okay, good. So uh, yeah, you need to look up Melinda Elaine, not Pin Up Girls, Pin Up Happiness. Oh, okay. I can't believe you got that stuff on your computer. There's actually a group, <laughs> yeah, that you can subscribe to. Yeah, Pin Up Happiness. Okay. And a lot of those guys will be there. Richard Waters is a great photographer. He's planning on coming down. Uh, 
Uh, it's just right here. We got and well, and, and the superstar from Fifty uh, Five KRC will be there on Sunday along with me, right? Uh, yeah. Riding the wave with Dave. Riding the wave with Dave will, Dave be, there. will be out there. Right. Okay. Um, and you know it's always fun when Dave's around. Oh yeah, okay. Kimmy Lynn, this girl here, okay. is helping us run the pinup contest. So now I have some guest judges. I have a Joe Mayhan coming from Hillsborough. He's like the mayor of Hillsborough almost over there. Although he's not, but he runs so like Angie. I was going to say, he might not want that job right um, now. <laughs> but then also we have, uh, actually Joe is going to run for council over there. He's a good guy. He'd like him. Um, and then we also have Harry Wright. Harry Wright from Kicking Country okay. will be down. And Harry's a blast. You've met Harry before, haven't you, Rick? I've met Harry. Have you met Harry? I have not. Oh, he's a treat. So if you're not doing anything Saturday night, come out. Okay. Yeah, bring bring your bring the wife. Come out, listen to some good music. Check out the pin up contest. Who knows? Maybe you guys will want to judge next year. I can get you guys to be my celebrity judges there next you year. Well, you know, I've missed it two years in a row now, Charlie. Well, I know, Rick. That's that's what happens when yeah. you do high school and college sports. But that's true. going back to my vendors, Melinda Elaine will be out there. And she has a group called Pinup Creations. Okay. So any girls looking to like get into pinup or the style, she has everything from clothes to earrings, you know, all kinds of you know, kind of jewelry. like a recruiting organization to find future. Uh, no, you know, a lot of this come about. My wife did some pinup a while back, and she was a part of the Patriotic Pinup Girls. Oh, neat! And the Patriotic Pinup Girls do a really neat thing. They go every one of these. Uh, Honor flights. Sure. <laughs> they go out. They they uh, meet the guys at the airport before they leave. Right. And then they also meet them when they come home. Uh, Lee has informed me from the station that he wants Charlie to talk faster because he's hungry. <laughs> and he wants to get <laughs> home. <laughs> Sorry, Lee. <laughs> well, Lee, we've only got uh, ten, ten, ten minutes. minutes so, yeah. uh, well, you just hang, hang in there, Lee. Hang, hang on. Calm your cramping hey, for food. Hey, yes. Lee. Keep calm and, and chaz on, on, baby. Chaz on, baby. Yeah. And you know, you can like keep calm and chaz on on Facebook. You can like just Chaz's DJ service on Facebook if you want more information. Like I said, it's only five dollars to get in as a spectator. We're pretty much shut off the vendors at eighteen because we're going to be pretty crowded. Car wise, I might try to slide a couple more in, but it's going to be tough. If you guys are thinking about just coming out and you haven't registered yet, call me first. Because uh, we're, we are going to have to cut it off at one point, some okay. point. So get a hold of Charlie about that. And we we don't have, let it wait. We have people coming, like I said, from Tennessee, Kentucky, and the, uh, all the local hotels you know, help support the show a little sure. bit. Sure. Uh, not only the Holiday Inn at Roberts Center, but the Holiday Inn Express, the Hampton Inn. And uh, we'll have some shirts available out there also this year for sale. And uh, we'll have some of my calendars also out there for sale. Again, all this stuff just goes back to helping Alzheimer's. And we're going to have a 50-50. Uh, it's, going to be, it's just going to be a good time. So uh, A big Wilmington event? It, it, it's getting bigger every year. This is the eighth year for it. The first couple of years, we were as low as 35, 40 cars. Sure. And the last couple, it just keeps growing. And actually, yeah, we only use about half the Robert Center right now. My goal is that someday that we'll be able to use all four rooms. And we have used three rooms in the past, and we might be able to use three on Sunday if we have some overflow. But we'll just have to see what happens. We'll see what happens, right? Yeah, see what happens. But it is a good time if you like rock and roll music. If you like 50s, if you like, there's going to be some, and i tell you what else is going to be out there. It's really neat. I don't know if you're familiar with Rat Rods. And I am not. Well, look up some rat rods there. Rat. Make sure you like that. Join that group first. Trust okay. me. Okay. And then just look just look up generic rat rods. There you go. Charlie, you want to explain okay. what a rat rod rat is? Rat rods are cars that guys haven't, you know, they're not painted. They're rust buckets, most of them, but they got the big engines. And a lot of times they don't even have windows in them. And they are just they are just crazy crazy cars. A lot of times they're lowered. Uh, they're uh, just they are lowered. There's no yeah, doubt about that. And there's all kinds of just different styles. It's basically taking a, a car and making it cool without all the paint and all the chrome and all that. Sure. It's you know, I know of at least eight right to there. ten of those guys that are coming out. So very good. It's it's going to be a good time. It's Looks interesting. Time. So Saturday night, if you're Ready to go out and do something instead of kicking back and watching the tube? 
twenty five bucks cheaper than movie. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And and, and uh, as a programming note here, both for WALH and uh, of course here for uh, TalkTV.us, uh, this Friday evening we have Washington Blue Lions and Wilmington Hurricane basketball boys basketball. Richard. We'll get underway at. Uh, 7 o'clock for our pregame on CampusNation.com. And uh, it'll be streamed not just on CampusNation.com and recorded with HD video for playback later, but it'll also be streaming on WALH 106.7 FM right here in Wilmington, Ohio. And the new station that we've added, which is WZAA 106.9, and that is up in Fayette County. So uh, there we go. a lot of exciting things coming up. Yes, it's exactly. Expanding our horizons here. Yep, and more coming. It sounds like Campus Maybe. Nation, Talk TV, US, WALH, all in partnership, and uh, WZAA. WZAA. Right. So we're, yeah, the we're, Zaw. We're, we're the ZA. I kind of like the ZA, obviously. Like the Zaw. Uh, yeah. Chaz is, you know. Well, oh, uh, yeah. anyway, uh, so uh, we'll let Lee. Uh, and, then, and then Friday night, we yeah, also we have, have East Clinton uh, Wrestling. We have the East Clinton Bull Meets. Right. Um, we had a, an additional team added, actually, just today. Roger Bacon has um, so signed be six on. teams? So there'll be six teams. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been assured that probably 9 o'clock still, because these programs are not full 14-man programs. I think um, the biggest that we have is 12 wrestlers right. out of the 14. East Clinton has 10. And those are the biggest schools in there. So, so we'll start at 4.30 with our pregame on Campus Nation. Exactly. And that will be simulcast along at the same time later with the boys basketball. So you can sort of switch back and forth if you want to. But it'll right. go to about 9 o'clock. Right. And I'll be joined by Mike Fritz, the assistant wrestling coach at East Clinton. He'll be my color man as we do the play-by-play -play of the dual meets. Right. And he's going to get our camera person. So. And, and Lee's going to be our camera person. Lee's going to be the camera person. He get, uh, he's he's going to get our camera person. Lee is the Lee is, Lee's Lee's the go to guy. Lee is the, about the East Clinton alum, so he uh, he will get us somebody set up there. So that's great to hear. Right. Right. Well, look for look for more keep calm and Chaz ons here in the future because uh, you know we're getting started with the car show season. You might see some like calendars out. We've got one I'm looking at right now. Right. That's the Vera Cruz. There's a lot of exciting things that are going on both at uh, you know WALH and our new WZAA and of course uh, the Chaz with, is DJ with the Talk too. TV and uh, and uh, Campus Nation. So. And, and Sunday night, we of course the Razor's Edge is back after a. Uh, weekend off for the Super Bowl, and uh, we'll have Alex Newman, Tim Fillinger, and our normal cast of characters on the Razor's Edge. So, uh, for Rick Phillips, Charlie, Charlie Hargrave, and Bill Rayback, keep calm and jazz on. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone.